What was the phlogiston theory? Imagine a time when the very nature of fire and combustion was a mystery. Scientists and thinkers sought to understand why materials burned and what happened during this process. In the 17th century, a theory emerged that attempted to explain these phenomena, the phlogiston theory. This theory proposed that all combustible materials contained a substance called phlogiston. According to its proponents, when a material burned, it released phlogiston into the air. The more phlogiston a substance contained, the more flammable it was. This idea provided a framework for understanding combustion, suggesting that the loss of phlogiston was responsible for the transformation of materials during burning. The phlogiston theory was widely accepted for many years, influencing the work of several prominent scientists, including Georg Ernst Stahl, who was one of its main advocates. However, as scientific inquiry progressed, this theory faced challenges. The discovery of oxygen in the late 18th century by Antoine Lavoisier marked a turning point. Lavoisier demonstrated that combustion was not about the releases of phlogiston but rather the combination of substances with oxygen. As a result, the phlogiston theory was eventually discarded in favor of the new understanding of chemical reactions and combustion. This shift laid the groundwork for modern chemistry, illustrating how scientific theories can evolve and change with new evidence. The story of the phlogiston theory serves as a reminder of the importance of questioning established ideas and seeking clarity through experimentation and observation.